hi there students aloft aloft okay aloft can be an adverb an adjective or a preposition okay so um yeah he uh, held his banner aloft up in the air or in a higher position okay um, the plane was flying aloft the clouds above the clouds in a higher position than um, yeah when the plane is aloft uh, you can take off your seatbelt when the plane is in the air there it's an adjective okay so aloft in the air in a higher position um, so and then aloft as a preposition um, flags are uh, aloft the castle above the castle okay so aloft in the air up in the air overhead in a higher place yeah overhead in a in a higher um, position okay so um, please raise your hands aloft look at these birds aloft yeah up in the air high up in the air yeah in the sky overhead um so i can't see john anywhere here he's aloft he's upstairs he's at the top he's aloft on the roof yeah okay so aloft notice this is what they call a post positive adjective um, the easy way to say that is you can't say an aloft aeroplane, yeah? The easiest way is just to use post-positive adjectives with uh, the verb to be. The aeroplane is aloft. Uh, when the birds are aloft, they look down on us. Your kite is aloft the trees, is higher than the trees. Okay, so with the verb to be. You can also actually use them after your noun so a plane aloft is an amazing idea to see i'm going to make a video about these post positive adjectives because it's an interesting question but let's go back to aloft yes um he's up in the air in uh in a sailing ship if somebody climbs up the mast and they're in the crow's nest at the top they are aloft they are high up in the air yeah, they're higher, they're overhead. Um, the, uh, there were hot air balloons aloft. They were aloft in the sky. Um, he lifted his fork aloft and put it into his mouth. Okay, so above. Yeah, he held the banner aloft so that everyone could see it. So, in the sky, to the sky. Um, the... Uh, Aeroplane took off and flew aloft. Okay, an adverb there. It's flying aloft. Um, clearly, it's related to this to this word a, a loft, the attic of a house. Okay, so aloft. Something is aloft. Is in the air. It's off the ground. The winner held the World Cup aloft. Yeah. Um, when this hot air balloon is aloft you will get a wonderful view of everything below you yeah um yeah his uh mind is always aloft uh normal people's thoughts it's well above yeah um with arms aloft he uh, shouted with joy so aloft how formal is this I think I'd give it a 5.5 in formality. I think you can use it just about anywhere. It might sound a tiniest bit literary, but I, I, I think it's okay to use it anywhere. And then as to origin, well, it actually comes from Old Norse, yeah, the, from the Viking languages, from a lopti or a lopti, meaning in the sky. Okay, so remember, aloft up in the sky up in the air higher than 
The clouds aloft whizzed past, being blown by a strong wind. And then notice it's um, uh, uh, a post-positive adjective. Use it with the verb to be or after the noun, and you must use it after the noun. Um, here. So maybe I'm up in the attic and I say, please come aloft, please come upstairs. Yeah, come, come up high. Okay, so aloft, higher than, off the ground, in the sky. Enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Aloft.